Um, so I've had a lot of people ask me about my junk planner. Um, a junk planner is just a book that I altered into a planner. Okay, this these are both just books. Good size. You know, they're, th this is a good size to start with. This is a good size to work with. Um, and my planner starts June 1st. There's no reason why, except for the fact that last year I decided to make the junk planner after watching the rebookery. Um, Gina makes a junk planner from um, old books and I liked her thought on it. I liked her process. So I decided to try doing it my own way. And uh, I kind of like that my year starts on June 1st because I feel like if I started it January 1st, you got a lot going on January 1st. And if I started it like September 1st, like for a school year, you have a lot going on for September 1st. So, you know, June, I feel is a good time to, to do this project. Um, sorry, notifications. So uh, I'm, this is my second time making this video because I accidentally flashed address pages <laughs> that I have in there. Um, so I'm going to start with my planner from last year. I taped the dust jacket to this book because it reminded me of my life on the coast. And I got some, you know, additions over time. And I have these pockets in the front. I didn't really use them. That's not saying I probably, you know, couldn't have used them. I'm sure I could have put things in there, but I didn't. Um, and then I started in June. So... I just write, you know, I write everything down. Um, I put, I started my to-do lists and I decided that I wanted to be really motivated and add, you know, goals for the month and shopping lists of things that I needed and household things that I did, which didn't end up working out. Um, as you can see, like you get further in and I don't have anything. Okay, I, 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 there's even months I didn't write anything at all, um, you know, so, but I did keep track of all of the kids stuff, Girl Scout meetings, um, and then as time went on, I start, you know, and I have pockets in, in almost every month I have a pocket and it's convenient and it's nice, but I find that I don't use it, you know, like this is this month, I just put my stuff in the in the page you know so um but now i'm tracking things like you know i changed my furnace filter so i want to keep track of that and um other things you know that i just that i don't want to i want to remember when i do them um now i have other things that i have to address too like you know i have to activate my jc penny credit card i have to go get my concealed carry permit um and then you know what I, I stuffed little notes this one I didn't add paper on all of them because I said well what if I don't need them but I did I do have this in here to remind me of things that I should be doing every season and I did refer to this a, quite a few times and I'm also tracking what we do in all of our vehicles so like I have to write down for instance on my truck when I did the grease um, oil filter and rotate tires. I had 297 587 miles. That's how many miles. Now this page won't go with me to my next planner because, and I was, I went back and forth on this for a while. I was like, oh, I should probably put it in my new planner and blah, blah, blah. But I shouldn't because this happened in 2019 and 2020. That's when we did this. So I'm not going to put this in my 2020 planner. If I need to know what I did, I can go back to this year. One thing that will move over with me is my, my crafty ideas and my crafty wish list. Okay. Um, these are things that I, I do write on all the time, as you can see. And, uh, you know, because I watch all you people on YouTube and you're like, oh, you all need this crap. So I'm like, ooh, I can't buy anything because I'm doing my 100 things challenge, but I want to buy stuff. So I write it down on a list. I blame you people. Um, and then these are ideas that I have, you know, that I've been, that I've been writing down. And then I had this little thing of stickers for planning. I never went back to this. <laughs> I never went back and took any more stickers out. So I pretty much like decorated my planner 
And then this here is all of my crafty people addresses on these pages. And I just have them stuffed in um, because this is going to obviously come with me too. All of these pages have, have addresses written on them. Um, so I'm going to put all these in my, in my new planner. So we'll, we'll move over to that one. This book was an, a book I had started to alter. Oh, another thing too. This planner started out wide mouth and I didn't like that. I did not like that it was wide mouth. So I was pretty um, quick to pull pages out of this book, okay? Because I didn't want that wide mouth. I want this to sit nice. And a lot of times I do stick a pen in a page and that's wide enough. You know, I, I don't need it crazy. So this was a book I had bought a long, long time ago to alter. And um, I started altering it and I started altering it. It was probably like, I don't know, when did I start altering books? Like 2005, I bet. And uh, I had gone to my library and they had a whole pile of free books. And this was one of the books and it's an, it's an older book and it's in rough shape. And I mean, at the time I started altering books with fabric and I was doing felt pages and I was like going all out. So this really wasn't a strong enough book for what I needed it for. So um, I did do the front cover and there were pages in here that I altered that I took out and put, you know, in with some other stuff. Now I have this binder clip on here. And the reason is because I made myself a couple of accordion pockets in the front. Now I have these planner stickers, whether or not I'm gonna use them, your guess is as good as mine. Um, so, but I have them, you know, they're there. So if I wanted to do a habit tracker or I wanted to do some kind of thing, you know, I have little ditties to do it with. I bought a whole bunch of planner stickers from Care Heart um, at an auction. And I, I don't know what I was thinking um, <laughs> because I don't use those. <laughs> I don't really use those stickers at all. So I'm probably gonna like be happy mailing some planner stickers out to people so if you if I know you plan you know be on the lookout um but my tabs you know I have all my months tabbed I put my addresses in there so I have them I have all my months tabbed this this one was a little trickier to tab because some of my papers go on the outer side um outer side some of my papers go over the edge a little bit so I'll just have to really look when I'm doing it that's all and I used my own delusion sprayed papers that I put doilies on for all of the pages. I did every page in this book. Um, so, you know, I haven't added anything to this yet because I just finished it last night. And um, I am going to put, I have Lily's whole school calendar for next year. So I'm going to put all that stuff in. Um, now you can get fancy with colors and stuff. I keep this where I sit. So I keep one pen with me. And I use this pen for everything. Um, and that's it. But you can get fancy and colorful and stuff and do whatever. Now, I still left myself two pages in between every month. And I am going to be using, I am going to be writing my to-do lists and things I got to remember and things that inspire me. Like, you know, in my old planner, when I first started watching Dee Dee Willingham's Comp Book 2020, I had like three pages in my planner full of ideas. And I keep it next to me so I can go back to it and I can look at that list all the time. I also put like, you know, society of idea collector things. And I did, you know, I put a whole bunch of stuff at the beginning of the year when a lot of people were starting their yearly things that I wanted to do or that I had an idea for. Um, I, like I said, I'm going to take out my crafty page and put it in here. And then I have all these pages in the back and I do want to use them. I do want to do some trackers for things. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I do want to keep track of for me. You'll have to figure out the types of things that you want to change or that you want to keep track of or that you want to remember, you know, to put in yours. Um, I put masking tape too down this and in some in between some of the pages because this book was rough. I mean, I, I don't know if I can get it in camera, but the binding is a little, it's, you know, a little rough. So, um, I didn't decorate the back of this. My reason is 
I decorated the front of this with metallics and my table is old. My table, my kitchen table is about 300 years old. We thought it'd be a great idea to buy this 300 year old kitchen table and these 300 year old chairs and it sucks. Um, you know, the table's nice. It's got a whole bunch of leaves with it, but, uh, the chairs suck. So my table has been waxed many times and I have not taken a sander to it yet. So I really got to take my table out and sand it. But um, I'm afraid the metallic paint will stick to the wax like a lot of paints and things do. So I left the back so that, you know, the paint won't come off on the table or the table come off on the paint. <laughs> and I just did the front. Um, and I didn't do anything really on the spine. I just used up some excess paint from yesterday and I just, you know, stenciled this, obviously. Um, but I'm trying to really use this as something to remember, you know, to remember things and to, you know, plan my next move and to remember what I got to do next and to keep track of the things that have to get done around the house and outside and to buildings and to equipment. And, um, you know, we lit, we moved into a house that needs a lot of work and, we have a whole bunch of buildings outside that also need a lot of work. So, you know, you need, for me anyway, uh, something to keep track of, of all of this madness. Um, in the way of construction of these, I did the Lori Marie Jenkins method where I went into the middle of every signature in the book, which was tough because this book was hard to tell the middle but as you can see, now you can see, let's see if I can get this to stop moving. Um, here, let me get a pointer. You can see the middle of signatures here, right? Um, I pulled out, I think I started with, I usually start with like, I pull out four double pages in the middle, you know, um, I pull out four. Then I take the book and I see how closed it is, you know, because that frees up a lot of room. And I determine whether or not I have to pull out more. Um, if you're going to use an older book, I suggest you don't use anything with thin paper, a thin, a thin paper that I call Bible paper. Um, I have my napkin journal and that book is thin paper and it's nice. Don't get me wrong, but it took forever for the pages to dry because with whatever pages I have left, I glue them together. And in this book, because it's just a planner, I glued two pages together. And then in some cases I had to glue three. The reason is, uh, I wanted to the middle of the signatures, I glued them together. So where you have the gap in the signature, I glued that gap closed so that it, it, reinforces the book a little bit, which is why the book now is much, much stronger than it was when I started, um, than I started with it because I didn't know about that when I first started altering books. Um, I learned about that. I think it might've been from Lori Marie, um, gluing the two center pages together. Um, so these are all double or triple pages and I glue them together. I usually just use a glue stick. Okay, you might have corners come up a little. Yeah, you're going to have little, you know, corners that you might need to glue down. Just deal with it. It's a junk planner, okay? You're not making some kind of gorgeous work of art. Um, but it's very easy to do. And you'll figure it out. You'll figure out your, your, woo, your way, you know. Um, but I've had a lot of people ask me about it. And I just wanted to share with you my comparison between this year and last year and I wanted to share with you my pros and cons um you can be all for happy planners and happy planning and coordinated set up things but if you're like me and you kind of fly by the seat of your pants and you never use a ruler and <laughs> you don't do anything by the rules then junk planning is probably going to be good for you um, you can use a composition book. If you don't want to get into gutting a book and then gluing papers, you know, down to every page, get out a composition book, get out a notebook. Um, 
use those little journals that you can buy from, you know, Walmart and stuff. Those, those, you know, thick spine hardcover books, um, you know, with the thicker paper in it. Go ahead, you know, do whatever works for you. But I just wanted to share with you what I do in case it's something that might work and something that you might want to try. So that's that. I'm hoping to get some more videos done. I do have children. They do ruin my life. Oh no, Lily is washing her table right now. She's washing it. So that's it for now. Oh, shaking her butt. I love you all. Ta-ta for now. I hope you enjoyed my crusty fingernails. Ha! Bye. Make sure you make sure you keep your clean butts. Make sure you keep your clean butts. Clean butts. Bye-bye.